Minion in. Thanks for joining us. Um, this is the third part of my Let's Play of Murdered Soul Suspect, and we're going to just jump right in where I left off last time. Cassandra had just gotten away, and I need to figure out how to get across this demon pit. I can do this by poltergeisting the vacuum cleaner. That's it. There's my eternal ghostly cigarette. Get in there. What's gotten into you? This place is so cold tonight. There we go. Now we can just go right across that demon pit. Oh god, there's demons in there. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. I did see that coming. I knew this was going to happen. Some objects can be activated to distract demons. This draws the demon's attention and allows you to sneak past them unnoticed. Using the ravens to distract the demon is often useful. I had wondered about the ravens. Hiding from demons can help you get closer to distract objects. Distract the demon. I would if I had any kind of thing. Ooh. You must approach the demon from behind if you want to execute. Holding RT will attempt an execution. Got it. There's another raven over there. <clears throat> yes! I am the demon killing master. Check out the size of his wallet chain. That's awesome. My kind of cop. Okay, we got everything? A zoot suitor. We can go into town now, right? Yeah. Now you gotta follow Cassandra. Damn it. Now what? Ask some friendly ghost if they've seen her go by. Is Casper there? I knew the cat could, would be able to see me. Where'd she go, huh? <laughs> what clue would tell me where she's headed? Mother missing, killer's identity, not the powerful scream, not the church's attic, would be the mother's note. The mother's note implied the witness should get her bell killer case back from the station. Leave now, find my book at the station, and don't look back. And I told her where it would be, so... Yeah. <clears throat> She's on her way to the station. Look at the case notes. I hope you find this. Leave now, find my book at the station. Don't look back. Yeah. She's headed to the police station to steal some book. She'll blend in well there. Did you know her mother worked for the police? <laughs> Fine. Don't tell me. Puss. to the station. I'm oh, back at the pier. There's gonna be more demons. <clears throat> no, not so far.
Ugh. Can't go through there or through here. Why am I even here? It's because. Ooh, information on the killer. G. Soderberg family photo? She had so much potential. This is a terrible shock, especially now. She had been accepted to Smith College and was all prepared for the move. She? Hmm. Okay. I'm sure we'll figure out what that's about. Eventually. Whoosh. That's where my wife died. Let's not revisit that. It's so sad. What do we got here? Oh. And here. Just here. I did this. I talked him into this. Becoming <clears throat> a cop. I was lying dead in the street because of me. No. That's his wife's brother. Rex feels guilty for leading Ronan to a life of police work. It's not your fault, bro. <clears throat> the day we met. I still remember the first time I laid eyes on that man. Ronan had all that bad boy swagger, and I admit I liked it, but what I liked even more was the heart underneath the facade that he couldn't hide. He was a guy from a rough neighborhood, but it hadn't hardened him as much as he let on. What's that game? The one with the woman who raids tombs. <laughs> uh, bubble bubble. It's so quiet. Such a sleepy town. That bubble bubble. I know I'm going the wrong way, but there's clues. There's stuff to find. Ooh, a news article. Salem police has still not made an official connection among the recent violent deaths. Community speculation is increasing that this is the work of a single killer. In the absence of other connecting clues, the consistent thread is the strange bell-shaped symbol found at many of these crime scenes. Well, no one has even the remotest theory on the meaning of the symbol, but this bell killer may have a personal reason for leaving this insignia. Okay, so you could say that the killed people have found the bell end. Going to hell for that. <laughs> Fourteen more eternal flames to uncover the story. Sure. Oh, we are just looking for random stuff behind buildings right now. Ronan's childhood. Okay, we got more of these. Ronan's parents really sound unstable. It must have been really difficult for him growing up and feeling pressure to follow the unstable criminal paths his parents walked. And now he's my diamond in the rough, such a sweet soul and strong enough to keep its sweetness with everything his parents put him through. It's rare someone with a legitimate reason to be frustrated with his parents and the way they raised him never once complained about it. He's such a better person than anyone realizes. Yeah, that's me. Fantastic person. Kay Douglas family photo. She would never kill herself. She was happy with her life and pl had plenty of friends. Someone must have done this to her. They must have. Okay, so these are victims of the bell ender. I heard a cat. Can I possess a cat here too? I can. But what good would that do me? Can climb up there. Jump up here. I 
And then I'm up that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I don't even know why I'm going up here. Kind of going off the beaten path here. There we go. More eternal flame. Can I get over onto that one from here? The real question is, is this burning my eternal flame? Terrible. Absolutely. We'll just go back to Bell Ender. That was my my crowning achievement, my pride and glory. More of that. Alright, I guess it was worth possessing the cat. More stuff, more people, ooh, more ghost fires. The whole place is on ghost fire. Not that I can go in there. Run, people! You're gonna get ghost burned! It's my brother in law feeling sorry for himself. I think that means we're done looking around this area. One final sweep. <laughs> I guess that about does it. Except, oh, nope. Can't interact with that. Aha! Uh -huh. Ashen Hill Cemetery plaque. The Ashen Hill Cemetery is founded in 1632 as part of the churchyard for the recent Puritan settlers of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. Certain traumatic events expanded the cemetery, and this is real life history that we don't need to know. Okay, ghost houses on ghost fire. And there's something in there. I suppose we can get in. Not this way. Maybe there's a way around. Hmm. Aha! We have go ugh. We have ghost stairs. More eternal flame. Hmm? Huh? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, that just gets me back down there. there. Was it in here? Yeah, because there's a thing. Hmm. Maybe twas not meant to be until I learned to put out ghost fires or something. I don't see any other way to get over there except maybe through that building. And I haven't found any other doors going in. You guys just, you know, don't mind me. Just have your cop coffee in the middle of all this ghost fire. Whoosh. Okay. These are old ghost houses. Because in normal time, for living people, there's a street here. Yeah, just go right on through. There's no getting in there. Okay, 
Maybe we'll get back to the, uh, well, first that clue. What is this? Chalk bell symbol. That's what he leaves at the, at the murder scenes. Detectives are trying to find any possible connection to the bell symbol. People named bell, literary references to bells, anything having to do with a bell. Witness trauma report. Witness immediately moved to trauma counseling after discovering the badly burned body. Okay. Not going that not, way. Yeah, we're not ready. Psychiatric hospital. That's where I want to go. See dead, crazy ghosts. <laughs> Sounds like it'll be a creepy place to explore later. All right, 45 meters to the Salem Police Department. I just unlocked this. Why is it glowing? And there's more stuff. And even more stuff. Use Article 4. The FBI can get involved to support local law enforcement if it is clearly established that there is a serial killer. The Salem Police Department had no statement on the FBI's announcement at, pr uh, at press time, but has continually refused to describe the deaths as the work of a serial killer. There's no sense getting the town hysterical over something that may not be true, SPD spokeswoman Ingrid Larson said in an earlier statement on the case. More eternal flame? Nine more to go. Okay, we're back in Ghost Fire Town. There's the asylum. There's an alley. I think, yeah, we made those stairs. All right, let's head to the police station. For real this time. I see no demons. We're okay. Can I go in there? Nope. Ghost train tracks. Huh. Wonder where they go. Or went. that my bullet holes are so so visible now I know how 50 cent feels escorted by a knight oh, I missed it there and for once I felt safe out at night all the stories he told me about being the most dangerous man in Salem they felt true no one could touch us because no one could touch him and I was with him and with him and with him, will be with him, I know it. Am with him, will be with him. Handwriting. Yes, enter the Salem Police Department. Get in there. Strange coming back here now, like this. A place I used as a crutch to get through the tough times when I found myself suddenly alone again. Funny how history repeats itself. Not tonight. Tonight was the first time he used a gun. This guy relies on close proximity. So remember, if you approach him, it gives him power. But, sir, if we can't approach him, how do we arrest him? Remember your training. He's a wanted cop killer now. You can shoot him on sight. Bell Killer War. Should see if there are any new leads in my murder case. Yes. Hasn't screwed up yet, but he will. Eleven clues, huh? 
All right, let's look for them. No, sir. I'd be very interested to know that when. No. No suspects at this point, sir. This boils down to sloppy leadership, Lieutenant. Whoever made the call for Ronan to go in alone, it's on you. We lose one of our own tonight, and you have no suspects and no leads. Look, Captain, he wore gloves and apparently didn't touch anything in the apartment other than the knob on the front door. He didn't leave prints, fibers, or anything else traceable. And if you think I don't want this guy to pay more than you, you are sadly mistaken. Watch your tone, Rex. Everyone knows he was your brother-in-law, so you don't need to remind us. But you lose your cool again, and more of your own will join Ronan. You understand me? You find this guy, or a clue that leads to his doorstep. Now! That's an order. Yeah, understood. Idiot. I don't like his boss already. Okay, what else we got? Bell symbol research. Is this connected to the bell killer symbol? Well... The killer symbol. The symbol of the bell killer... The symbol the bell killer leaves at his murder scenes. What does a bell have to do with his murder? Is the bell tolls for dead people? Whoa! Hello. I know the investigation's in there, but I just saw a thing. Witness description of clothing. Witness said she saw a man in a dark hoodie matching the public description. Dark pants and shoes. Did not get a look at his face. Yeah. None of these are helpful. Excuse me, gentlemen. Back to investigating. This fan. Poltergeist the fan. Why would I want to do that? I'm not, I'm not there yet. Still looking at clues. Update to reflect recent developments. Joy and Cassandra Foster. Huh. Missing persons? Both of them? They're both missing. Seward wanted something about this updated because of recent developments. What happened? Or was it just Joy that was reported missing? Height 6'2", weight 215 pounds, build athletic, ethnicity, Caucasian, eye color blue. Identifying marks, attire, always seen in mask and hood. At least I think the bell killer has blue eyes. I don't know if that's true or not. I didn't get a good look at his face when I was confronting him. Victims. The victims on the board were young women with no signs of sexual assault. Oh. What do we have here? Murder locations, of course. Bell killer murders have occurred all over town in random locations. There doesn't appear to be a common link to where they happen. Yeah, that doesn't look... I mean... Not that I'm an expert, but that does not look related. I could poltergeist the phone, the fan. You gotta have faith in the department. You're part of the department. Actually do something. Don't just have faith in it. Nah. Okay, let's poltergeist the phone. Is somebody gonna get that? Seriously? Wish I could say that's the weirdest thing I saw tonight. Ah. Cause of death, ligature strangulation. Trauma to neck and larynx via garroting, severe abrasions to wrists and ankles, most likely the result of being bound by hemp rope consistent with all other bell killer murders. Ruling homicide. Ah. What do we have here? Influence. Okay, what can we have him look up? I'm seeing signatures. Uh, links between murders. 
Missing persons. We want to find Cassandra's mom. So we wanted something about this updated because of recent developments. We gotta find that info about the missing tenants. Cassandra Foster, 42, resident of Regal Apartments, professional psychic medium and criminal profiler. Occasional consultant to the Salem Police. Last seen by neighbors two weeks ago, no criminal record. Joy Foster, 15, her legal guardian is her mother, Cassandra Foster. Oh, Cass wait, Cassandra's the mom. Okay, and Joy's the, the kid. Whereabouts of her father are unknown. Dropped out of Salem school system two years ago, ran away from home, has a number of misdemeanor convictions, juvenile, trespassing, burglary, and breaking and entering. Amber alert for Joy Foster canceled. In custody, they have her. Let me soon get that, okay. Seriously, I'm not done with the investigation. What else is there? Oh, I can click on stuff. Amber Lord canceled Joy Foster in currently in custody. The most relevant information? Yes. I want to know where she is. The Amber Alert was canceled because the witness is in custody here at the station. She would probably still be in the holding cells. That's what I'm saying. Get out of the dude. Uh, complete investigation. Okay. I think I've learned all I can here. I better go find that witness. Yeah. Go find Joy. You deserve some joy after everything that's happened to you. What's this? Anything, son. Not homicide. I've only huh? been in the department for six months. I just do cops get killed a lot. No, I wouldn't say it happens a lot. I've been on the force nearly twenty years, and I'm still alive. It shakes you up when it does happen, though. Maybe more because it doesn't happen often. Not that okay. Wanted, what do we have here? Hey, Baxter, you still relying on that wizard lady? You know I ain't into all that spiritual crap. But she's onto something. Results are results. If you find a more reliable source, you let me know. Hmm. Baxter is still working on the Belkiller case, even though he's been reassigned. He no longer has his pet psychic. In this place stood a noble fortress against the forces of the British crown erected in 1775. And a lot of that stuff went down in Massachusetts. And seven more to uncover the story of the stalwart specter. Stalwart specter. Try saying that five times fast. Okay. Nobody answers the phones around here. I thought this was a police station. Missing persons report. Jennifer Galbach, female, white, slim build, last seen by friends in Ashland Hill Cemetery after a party with fellow cheerleaders. Missing two days. Uh, most we're going to do is cool that dude's... Can soda? All right, holding cells. Where do we got them? Downstairs, maybe? Not in the bathroom. Anybody peeing? Good, just making sure. East Soderberg, police progress. The rocks in her pocket could point to suicide or a dare by classmates. There's no evidence of violence and no current suspects. Well, have you asked her classmates? And have they said we dared her to go swimming with rocks in her pockets? We're so sorry it'll never happen again. 
status, a grace police progress, a grace. Another case of seeming accident, except for the bell symbol drawn by a gloved finger in the dust on the window. Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Another plaque. Good evening, gentlemen. Don't mind me. I wonder where my desk was. Did I have a desk? Did I have an office? Am I a fancy detective with his own place? Poltergeist, yep. Robinson's got the girl in the room right now. You think she knows anything? What room? I will find she being out. interrogated? Robinson I should be there like for that. Gentleman, but he's got his methods of persuasion. Yeah, he's a smooth one. My money's on him. Where? E. Soderberg, personal info. Rita Soderberg, female, 17 years old. Death occurred one week before high school graduation. Been here, whoop, yeah, creepy ghost people. Got nothing to do with her. I guess we'll check upstairs for Joy, what's your face? Uh-huh. That's where this happened. He's wrong even when he was right. I actually thought he could blackmail me with my past. As if my past hasn't already done all the damage it could do. Axter's kind of a old timey people. He's kind of an old timey people. That's what I meant to say. There we go. Lots of stuff to collect here. A. Grace, personal info. Anne Grace, no legal middle name. Female, 22 years old, no immediate family, publicly went by the name of Madame Agatha, a novelty fortune teller. So maybe he goes after psychic types? I mean, she was a fortune teller, and this last one's a psychic. I'm not going to blow away the clipboards, I guess. Holding area. Okay, well then what's in here? Detective offices. Where's my office? Oh, I didn't have an office. I had a cubicle in the detective area. Possibly. Okay, that's Rex. Healed, buddy. That sickness she carried in her brain. You made it tolerable. Well, I guess you must be together now. Not yet. I'm trying. I used to visit Rex down at the station, but it's been years, so when I went with Ronan today, it was like seeing the place in a whole new light. I was struck by a room they've got dedicated to the Bell Killer case. Everything they know, or even guess, might be related. It's in that room. The strange energy of the people coming in and out of that room. You'd think there was some religious observance going on in there. I've never seen anything like it. Hey, Just Cause 2. Rex is a gamer. K. Douglas, police progress. Virtually no evidence of the scene at the scene of foul play except the bell symbol. No prints, no DNA, no immediate suspects. Whoever this guy is, he's good. Checking for demons. We eyed.
big day. I never thought this would happen. Between Ronan actually going through with this and Rex pulling off the paperwork and managing Ronan's past, so much could go wrong, but it happened. And my man has a badge now. It looks good on him, and he loves it. I think his swagger just got even bigger. I love a guy in uniform. And they're really wearing a uniform. But I get it. I get what she means. Ronan's trouble with the law. I always knew there'd been trouble, but I didn't know his official arrest record was that extensive. Much worse than I thought. Felony after felony. Going back to childhood. It's like his life has, is already ruined. How can I join my life with his? Worked out okay. Except for, you know, when you died and then I died. Details. Please be my office. The form of each murder changes. The inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random, unrelated. But the police can't see these connections. Except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him. But he's my only chance. I wonder if that was Cassandra talking. Profiler's memories. Yeah, Cassandra was the profiler. Joy's mom. Okay. Well, I just wanted to see which office was mine, and I'm going to assume it's one of the big fancy ones. Map of Killings. We are exploring the possibility of a connection between the deaths listed on the map. Do not make public comment on the connection until officially authorized. Yeah, because the second you say they're connected, the FBI steps in. You guys did not want that. Three more muskets. It should be like a like a Patrick Swayze -y whoosh sound when you go through walls. Okay, enough of that. Um, somewhere there was a thing on the wall with directions. Where was that? There. Offices, morgue, holding area. Ah! Well, I'm not getting down that way. Hey, can I get one of you to walk down there? Is that possible? Why doesn't he ever talk? Thought Salem PD would be a safe job. Hmm. Gotta be another way up there then. Or down there. Missing something. Huh? Level one to two. No? Maybe this is level two to one. Okay, so now I'm here. Other side of that demon pit. What do we got, folks? A 
And the sign up there said that the holding area would be down here then, I guess. Morgue officers, detective offices. This is the holding area. Bonus. And battle plaque. Oh. Look at that. Did you hang yourself in here, buddy? It's too complicated to get into. Let's just say that I wasn't about to let some judge decide how to spend the rest of my life. That's my choice, so I made it. Either way, it doesn't matter now, does it? If it didn't, we wouldn't still be here. Maybe I could help? Nah, I appreciate it, but you know, it looks like you got your own shit to deal with. I'll figure it out on my own. Always have. Thanks, though. Now, here's the thing. You're locked in a cell. You kill yourself. You stay in your cell. Why? This was me. If only I could tell my younger self what I would become. My first crime. Never forget the rush of taking down my first mark. He didn't see it coming, and I didn't see it coming when my dad held down my arms with a steel grin on his face and a tattoo gun in his hand, ready to give me a memento to, so the crime would be impossible to forget. Dude, his dad held him down and tattooed him as a reward for committing his How first crime. There's a ghost right over there in that cell. Don't you have some other place you can keep me? Shut up. It's bad enough we're in jail without all your crazy talk. What? You too? There's another one. T -t 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 Tell me you can't see this guy. He he's right there. Someone get this guy to the loony bin already. Huh. The ghost is right there. Yeah. Not seeing me. Demons? Nope, we're good. Oh, what is that? Okay, it's a hiding... Hiding thingy. Uh-huh. Another musket. We need two more. To uncover whatever story it is. I'm not going that way. Forensic facility plaque. In grateful recognition of a generous anonymous citizen of Salem who allowed this forensics facility to be built and better serve the people of the city. We hereby recognize an anonymous person. Sure. Oh, Oh, dude, you're sitting by your corpse. That's creepy. Come on, kid. Why are you watching this? Please, make them stop. That was me. That was my body. I didn't know that I'd have to watch them slice me open. All my organs, they were just sitting out on the table. There was so much blood. Why would you sit there and watch I that? Take it back. We all wish we could take things back. But there's nothing we can do about it now. You can't think like that. You, you just have to move forward. Why did I do this to myself? What now? I just want to get out of here. Me too, kid. Me too. Oh, if I could duck and just make my head peek out where her head is, that would be hilarious. Okay. Isn't a spider web tattoo I'm not here to mess with other ghosts. Time spent in prison? Why would this tattoo have two spiders on the <gasps> web? It's me. He got his own tattoo wrong. It's just a tattoo. That's all I know. Focus on your work. And this raven, it's like chained to... Are those prison bars? We don't pay you to analyze tattoos. Yes, sir. I do have a lot of tattoos. Wow. His entire arm looks like a confession of... Of, well... A confession of... 
lot of stuff. We respect the deceased in here, son. Don't forget that. Why is the old Why guy, is the old guy, guy so harsh? harsh? Med school, Med school doesn't school does change everything. everything. Nothing can prepare you for that, for seeing your own corpse. It never felt so much like an empty shell until now. God, I look like a criminal. Uh-huh, the cheated death tattoo is kind of ironic. You know? Nobody cares. Maybe it'll smell, it'll smell a little less like dead people. More dead people. It is the morgue. What was I expecting? Oh my god, I'm in the box of the dead people. Blah. The slabs say, whoa! Hello. I did not mean to just walk through that. Alright, what do we got here? C. Melson, police progress. There's still no suspects in the case. Accident has not been ruled out, but the only evidence of foul play was a bell symbol drawn with a felt pen. No prints on the pen. Of course not. If he's, he's, he's always wearing gloves. There has to be some fabric something left somewhere. Hey, check it out. Another musket. We only need one more musket. I got an achievement for that. Not bad. C. Melson personal info. Claire Ann Nelson, female, 20 years old, student. Okay, no tarot card reader or anything like that. I think we're ready to go check in on Joy. Whoosh. Surprise. Each one of these keys is a felony. Each one. You get that, right? No? All right, it's your funeral. Sit tight, Max. You're gonna be here for a while. Fuck! Talking about. Right, look. look, I might be able to help you. Is your mom's book from the Bell Killer case here? Yes, and it would probably help me find my mom, but as I told you before, you're dead. How can you possibly help me? Hey, I know this place better than you. Now, who did your mom work with here? Extra. I don't know. She just called him bastard. Baxter. All right. His office was on the second floor. You stick with me, I'll get you there. Let's go. Go where? They're watching. Not for long. Hmm. Can possess her just to mess with her? Fine. Okay, so... That's all, okay, I thought I had to like find someone and influence them. Alright, sneak little girl, we got this. All right, I guess I'm supposed to do a distraction. Seriously, nobody's responding. Weird stuff happening in the precinct. Phones are ringing, papers are flying all over the place. And need a bigger distraction. Nothing. Nobody cares. These cops are oblivious to what's going on around them. How do they solve crimes? Is there someone over there? Let's all pretend not to see all the weird stuff happening in the office right now. 
as a team, yo. Something. I mean, I gotta clear out this whole room pretty much so she can get. Hope this night stays quiet. How do I do that? Wonder if that girl knows something. Clear that room somehow, but I don't I don't know how. Maybe I just go to Baxter on the second floor and let her figure it out? I don't know. Suspect released. Detained young male with hooded sweatshirt. Released after rock solid alibi. You can't just go around arresting everyone with a hoodie. Unless they're also masked and then Maybe. All right. Baxter's office. Well, I did say stick with me and I'll get you there. So, leaving her down there is kind of a dick move on my part. Would also be nice if I could find that last musket. Plainclothes cop. It was quite a trick, Rex pulled, advancing Ronan to detective without making him spend much time as a beat cop. He convinced the captain and the commissioner that Ronan's street smarts would make him most effective as a plainclothes cop. Ronan was very relieved. I get that. Now give me either musket or Baxter's office. Enslow. There's names on these. R. O'Connor. Is that me? Is this my office? Ronan O'Connor? I don't even know what my last name is. What a dead guy I am. Meeting room. Meeting room. They have a lot of meetings. Yeah. Ronan O'Connor. That's me. I almost named my son Ronan. Rex Ray's inspector. Ha! Inspector, your office is smaller than mine. Okay. You gotta figure out a way to get Joy up here. Can I, like, signal her? Ah. Oh. Uh. Follow my lead. I'll get you past these cops and to the door on the other side. Oh, God. He's okay. Yeah. Last time you got caught, Magellan. <laughs> Stay low or they'll see you. Where did she go? Ah. Let's go. Okay. Come on, kid, hurry. Damn machine. How'd you make it past that guy? That engrossed in his computer, huh?
Keep going. Should have attracted those guys. They were closer. Go on. Well, I can't take those stairs. Nice job, kid. We're almost oh, there. Don't need a cheerleader. Hey, I got us this far, didn't I? You got yourself killed, Mr. Bullet Holes. Uh, hey, kid. These things. Uh, I, I can't get across there. You're gonna have to help me. Well, can't you just fly over it? Fly? Or? I'm a ghost, not a plane, all right? And look, you need me to tell you which office is his. Duh. Don't read any of my thoughts. Think anything creepy. This oh, okay. Even. I could have gone around. I can't do anything. Okay, man. Yeah. Get out. I got this. Always the quiet ones that turn out to be killers. Freaky. Seriously? Nothing. Don't That's stop. That's right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Timing's a little wonky. And so which one's Baxter's office? <sighs> it's close. Where is everybody? E. Winslow. Work the day shift. R. Okay, O'Connor. Which office is Baxter's? And some meeting rooms. It's in the back hallway to the right. Okay. It's <sighs> close. Where is everybody? Okay. We're going to go ahead and stop here. It's been a little over an hour, I think. Thanks for watching. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. Watch me live on Twitch Tuesdays and Thursday afternoons. Um, name will be in the description. The Minion 256, no spaces. And I will see you next time when we do part four of uh, Murdered Soul Suspect. Minion out.